Meghan Markle, 38, and Prince Harry, 35, have been a picture of happiness throughout the first two days of their Africa tour? Yesterday the Basada duo gushed about one another's parenting skills and even shared a sweet kiss. Today the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will meet Nobel Peace Prize winner and South African civil rights icon Desmond Tutu before Harry leaves behind Meghan and baby Archie to jet off to Botswana. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been all smiles as they visited a string of grassroots organizations and met with community leaders during the first two days of their Africa tour. Their third day in South Africa will be marked by a very special event as they are introduced to Archbishop Desmond Tutu. They will visit the human rights activist and his wife, Leah, at the headquarters for their Desmond and Leah Tutu Legacy Foundation. Harry and Meghan met Desmond Tutu's daughter Thandke Tutu Xash at an event hosted by the British High Commissioner last night. According to Ms Tutu Xash the Sussexes are very excited to meet her father. Speaking about Meghan and Harry she added, they were saying that they were happy to be here and looking forward to meeting my father. And hopefully they will have some time for conversation. Following today's visit to the Tutu Foundation Meghan and Harry will part ways. Meghan will stay in South Africa with Archie as Harry heads to three other Southern African countries. Prince Harry will first visit Botswana before flying to Angola and Malawi for a few days while Meghan remains busy in Sa. The Sussexes will then reunite in Johannesburg for the final two days of the tour. During the rest of Wednesday, Meghan will visit the Woodstock Exchange which encourages female entrepreneurs, while Harry travels to Botswana. The reason for Meghan remaining in South Africa while Harry jets off elsewhere is thought to be so she can care for baby Archie. The four-month-old royal baby has still not made an appearance with his parents on the first two days of their tour. Fans are eager to catch a glimpse of the youngster who was snapped in his mum's arms wearing an adorable white bobble hat as they arrived at the airport in Cape Town. Meghan has wowed fans with an array of stylish outfits as she has stepped out to attend royal engagements. Yesterday she donned an elegant green headscarf and khaki shirt dress when she and Harry visited the Oral Mosque. Meghan is set to remain in Cape Town today with her son Archie, while Prince Harry have touched down in Botswana. This morning, Prince Harry will learn no more about a project run by Santa Ball, a charity he co-founded in 2006 with Lesotho's Prince Sizo following an emotional journey across the small African country done during his gap year. The Duke of Sussex is also to head at the Chobe Forests Tree Reserve, where he will plant tree with local children. Harry will continue his journey immersed in nature at Chobe National Park, where he'll dedicate a part of the forest to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. This will mark Harry's last engagement in Botswana, as the Duke will later move to Angola to walk in his mother's shoes and spend the evening at a new demining camp. His stay in Angola and visit to the Halo Trust a charity removing landmines and debris left by war, will surely be emotional for the Duke, who will be able to witness firsthand the legacy of late Princess Diana and what her demining campaigning effort have produced. The fourth day of the tour to Africa comes after Wednesday's whirlwind morning, when Archie attended his first ever royal engagement. 8.30am update, Harry opens up on his mother's death. Prince Harry opened up on how his first tour to Botswana in November 1997 after my mum died helped him dealing with the loss. The visit, he said, helped him in the aftermath of Princess Diana's tragic death. The trip also helped him create a long-lasting bond with Southern Africa, the prince added. 8.20am update, Meghan to host private breakfast. Meghan will continue shining a light on female empowerment as she is hosting a private breakfast in Cape Town with women working in public service. The event will take place at the UK and South Africa's High Commission. More detail regarding this event will be shared only later in the week. 7.56am update, Prince Harry high fives children during tree planting ceremony. Prince Harry is getting to know local school children in Kosang, as they help him planting trees. A sweet snap shows the Duke of Sussex giving a high five to one of the local children in the area. In other pictures, he can be seen digging a hole with a shovel while surrounded by students and member of the staff at the reserve. For this engagement, 
the prince is wearing casual green jacket, blue trousers and brown shoes. 7.45M Update, Prince Harry starts his engagements in Botswana. Prince Harry has arrived in Kosane, North Botswana, to carry out a tree planting ceremony at the Chobe Forest Tree Reserve with local children who have grown trees from seeds at their school. Meghan and Archie have remained in Cape Town, where the Duchess will also attend a series of engagements later today.